Joining me now, Congresswoman Barbara Lee of California. So, Congresswoman, I guess the first question I have to ask is, are you a race hustler? <laughs> You know, you know what, race hustler, welfare queen, food stamp president, these uh, code words uh, are to be expected from the right wing. Uh, however, they should not be accepted. What we need to talk about here in, in our country uh, are issues around racial discrimination, income inequality, and poverty. These stereotypes that the right wing puts forward are very harmful and they're divisive. And so, you know, what can I say? It's, it's just unfortunate that um, these comments continue, but I think the public understands uh, where what, the right wing is coming what do you from. Think, what do you think Bill, Bill O'Reilly means when he uses that word race hustler to describe you, a sitting member of Congress who represents the good people of Oakland? You know, I can't even dignify his comments. I have no clue. Uh, maybe the public should ask him what he means. But again, race hustler, I think he said notorious race hustler, uh, food stamp president, welfare queen, there are a long list of comments that I think should never be accepted. But in fact, uh, they're becoming, to, it's getting to that point now where uh, we expect the right wing to say these things. And so I have no idea. Someone should ask him what he really means. You know, he said, he also said, I thought this was, he said, you, you, uh, race hustlers, and I think he was including you in that, that you're, you're, you're get, coming to power by portraying your constituents as victims. Do you see your constituents as victims? My constituents are not victims. My constituents want jobs, they want education, they want the opportunity to live the American dream like everyone else. And that means we have to address poverty, we have to make sure the safety net is preserved, we have to raise the minimum wage, we have to protect our voting rights. You know, there are a whole series of efforts that we need to engage in to make sure that the American dream is real for everyone, not only a few. You know, the, the, the other thing that struck me in that in that little mini tirade was, was the idea that you don't want a conversation. I mean, you're right here, we're having a conversation. Um, but do you want a conversation on Poverty it seems to me like you're, you're one of any number of people, particularly in the Congressional Progressive Caucus, who've put out this very ambitious budget, who talks about these issues, who would love a conversation about how to how to reduce poverty in America. We've been talking about income inequality, poverty, racial discrimination for many, many years. I chair the task force, the WHIPS task force on poverty, income inequality, and opportunity. I co-chair the Congressional Black Caucus's task force on poverty and economic growth. And so. You can't tell me that we don't want a conversation, but we want more than a conversation. We want to see a budget, and Chairman Ryan, Chairman, uh, Ryan chairs the budget committee. We want to see a budget that protects the safety net, that ensures that the most vulnerable have the type of resources they need to survive through this very difficult time. We need to extend unemployment compensation, raise the minimum wage. We need a budget that invests in people, in education, and we need a budget that makes sure that we close the income gap disparity and end racial discrimination, and that takes a heck of a lot of work. And so that's what we want to do. Not only have the conversation and the debate, but we want to see the real, real results of policies and programs that really lift everyone out of poverty so that everyone can have the opportunity to live the American dream. That's what people want in this country. You just mentioned uh, Chairman Ryan of the Budget Committee, who was on uh, uh, the show last night uh, uh, on Bill O'Reilly's show. Uh, do you owe Congressman Ryan, an apology for the statement you put out after his comments about inner city? Absolutely not. I do not owe Chairman Ryan an apology because, in fact, if you read his statement, you see what he said. And we commented on that. And I think what's important to recognize is that we have to have a budget. Chairman Ryan, Ryan chairs the Budget Committee. I serve on the Budget Committee. We want to see a budget that really addresses poverty, income inequality, and lifts everyone uh, out of the, you know, the ranks of the poor so that people can really have a shot at the American dream. And so that's the point. You know, it's not about uh, what's in his bones. It's about what's in his budget. What, you know, 